At La Trobe University in Bandura, construction is underway on the Muslim Prayer Room extension. The $900,000 development aims to improve safety standards in the Humanities Building and will accommodate a capacity of over 200 people. Well, it's essentially a demolition of one side of the existing one and we are extending it to double its original size. And we're also adding, up, uh, adding on a, uh, a female wash room and toilet area on the side of it. So essentially the prayer room is doubled in size. Construction began June 6 and is on schedule to be completed in November, despite minor delays. Uh, we've had a little bit of rain, which has uh, been a shame, but it uh, hasn't held us up too much and we're basically on program at the moment. I think completion date would be around about November. The extension was first proposed to student services by the Latrobe University Islamic Society two years ago due to the increased numbers in the old prayer room. Yeah, we have been uh, working very closely with the university and the designers uh, with the, the new design and um, it is a very good design and it should uh, hopefully accommodate for our needs. A Friday prayer was getting extremely overcrowded and we had people like up to 30, 40 people praying outside which is obviously a safety hazard and we also, that also meant that because it's not compulsory for the women that they were being excluded. Now we wanted, um, we put this to the university that we want a room big enough to accommodate for both the males and the females. Students have reacted positively to the extension, yet some believe that the price tag of just under a million dollars could be better spent on other facilities. A million dollars, that's an awful lot of money to be spending on one group of people. Yeah, I think it's good that we can support that you know, all different religions and that sort of thing. I find it very unnecessary. I think they should invest in some more qualified teachers. I'm fully supportive of the initiative. I think it's really important that the university shows that they're inclusive of cultural diversity and I've got no problem with it. I think that's a good thing. I think that we do have a lot of Muslim international students so it's a good thing to cater for them. But I don't know if they need uh, to spend a million dollars on the renovation. I think that's a lot that maybe could be allocated to different areas that need improving. Despite these concerns, the university is adamant that the benefits outweigh the deficits and that the new prayer room extension is a key incentive for attracting future international students. If we're trying to attract an international cohort of students, and we are, and um, Middle East is one of the growth areas uh, that's been identified, that we can say we have facilities for uh, international students that perhaps other universities don't have. La Trobe University does not wish to follow the trend of other Victorian universities that have cut back their religious accommodations. Instead, they believe that the new extension is another step forward in promoting tolerance and multiculturalism. The university has also recently launched its Masters in Islamic Banking, obviously hoping to attract more Muslim students. This again ties in with the uh, mosque extension as a good uh, attraction for Muslim students. This obviously puts La Trobe as one of the um, best, uh, most attractive universities for Muslims in Victoria. Chris Donoghue for La Trobe Media.